Welcome to my presentation entitled Reimagine Student Affairs in Transition. I'm Naka Lile Blisat Villarin, currently the project lead for student success of De La Salle University, Philippines. My presentation is a discussion of our experience as I have seen through the lens of the position I had at the time when pandemic started. I was Dean of Student Affairs of La Salle and I was managing eight units providing various student support and programs from culture and arts to sports, counseling and career development, community and national engagement, discipline formation, as well as student activities and student media. So this brief presentation is really how our team and student affairs have managed to transition our own reflections and important lessons in the process, as well as the agenda we have set as a priority during the transition. There will be two parts in this presentation. First, I will be discussing lessons learned and the key elements that we believe are important for student affairs. The second part is a discussion of the major initiatives that we had geared towards advancing students' welfare. So we started our conversation with these three questions. The first question allowed us to reflect on ourselves, our emotions, our thoughts, and our present. The second question made us recognize the things we find difficult, the ones that we need help and support. While the third question led us to see the good and the gifts that this pandemic has brought to us and our community. It allowed us to have the positive position, which is quite important, as we accompany our students during this uncertain and difficult time. So we believe that an Understanding the new realities would allow us to see the value of the work that we do and the necessity to sustain our programs and activities in order to support our students. It was because of the strong belief in the importance of our work to students surviving and thriving in this difficult situation that allowed us to reflect, prepare, and introduce creative responses during the pandemic. The conversations resulted to four important concepts necessary for us to move forward. First, change that it is here recognize the change that happened is happening and will happen to us individually to the institution and to the community number two transition that we cannot remain to where we were pre-pandemic that our, our organization will have to transition with the programs and services that facilitate student success that we cannot sit idly and wait there's no other way but to move and meet that shift. Number three, resilience. That we need to be able to recover quickly. That we need to develop and strengthen our ability to cope with the circumstances and thrive despite the difficulties. And number four, value. That there is a need for us to value the work that we do. We need to see ourselves in our work equally important with that of academics and that our work is necessary for students to successfully maneuver through this virtual learning environment. After reflecting on our realities and the important concepts moving forward, there were more specific questions that needed answers. How will this pandemic impact higher educational institutions? What happens now to student life? What will happen to our programs and services? How do we transition from the usual conduct and delivery of programs and services to virtual platforms? How do we support the administration and students in this difficult time? What are essentials? What resources are needed? What needs to be sustained? As we dig deeper into these questions, we have identified key elements in the transition to virtual student life. Perspective setting. Have that growth mindset. Focus on things that facilitate growth rather than be stuck with the past and what could have been. There's no other way but to recognize and embrace the changes brought by this pandemic. Have the dynamic thinking, allow innovative ideas to come out, crucial in the process as well as self-awareness, that recognition of growth and opportunities. And as the science, we value faith. It is that faith that makes us trust the process. 
Establishing effective communication is strategic in the transition process. It is in the ability to communicate what are important and necessary in a way that is honest and reassuring and one that is done in a safe and nurturing virtual environment. It is important that we invest in conversations with our stakeholders and most especially with our students who are entrusted to our care. Transition cannot be in a vacuum, isolated from the rest of the community. We believe that the process of transition has to be in the spirit of association, wherein all members desire to do their share to make things better for themselves and others. Let's foster creativity and collaboration, facilitate partnership, engage others, both internal and external stakeholders, in what is mutually mutually helpful and beneficial. Strength in number is one of the things that we need to remember. Inspire productivity, innovate, deliver, and allow growth to take place. Think as a community, create that sense of community. It's what we call in the Philippines, we call it Bayanihan, where everyone help each other for common good. Show concern for others. Help um, others to recover from possibly traumatic experience or from difficult circumstances in general. To look into resource opportunities that will allow you to sustain the services and create new ones. It's important to be practical because resources are limited. We need to get outside help if possible. Look for allies and explore opportunities with less or zero resources. Make it work for you. These four elements have helped us in our transition process. We did not only sustain current programs and services of student affairs, but also help us launch new initiatives that have been in the pipeline pre-pandemic, but did not see the urgency until now. So allow me to briefly walk you through some of our initiatives that made student welfare and student success a priority. Among the many initiatives that, that, that we have seen to be important, particularly during the pandemic, are these major pro four major programs. The Solid Student Welfare Program, Safe Spaces and Inclusion, Online Community Platforms, and Student Success. We have been meaning to establish the welfare program for students even before pandemic. It has been our desire to promote and help create a culture of caring among members of the La Salle community. This pandemic, however, highlighted some sad and unfortunate realities of our students. It prompted us to find ways to set up the various support services under LSWP. The LSWP designed to respond to students' needs and well-being. It identify needs, identifies needs and support for students who are in difficult circumstances. Provides timely assistance to students in need. And creates a platform for the silent community members to nurture the culture of caring. And finally, to develop a network of mentors and caregivers. The LSWCP um, have nine support uh, components that are available to students. The funding of which came from student organizations, parents, alumni, and other external partners. Under this program, we were able to support hundreds of students who needed help during the pandemic. We were able to extend medical assistance to students who got sick or had family members who needed medical care distributed emergency relief for families of our students who lost jobs during the pandemic and supported our students who needed laptops or internet Wi-Fi devices. With the help of the university student government, there were students who were given tuition loans and grants. LSWP has been sustained through the generosity of members of the community, as well as its external partners. And we continue to pray that this program will be strengthened by by the help of other people and the community of the LSE. Creating virtual communities that will duplicate the kind of support that our students need are vital in the transition. 
immediate attention were given to students who were stranded during the lockdown. Thus, we had a tough life, a Facebook group for students living within the area of the university. These provided information as practical as where to get staff or buy supplies. It also provided student affairs a way to connect with the students living away from home. We also have learned to use different social media platforms to communicate and connect with our stakeholders, especially our students. The Telesco University has started the conversation on creating formal structure and integrated support programs for students. There have been support services that are made available to students and many of these have already been running for years. But we believe that it's important to look into how we can better these services and if needed, provide additional interventions or support programs so our students can have a meaningful experience and successfully achieve their academic goals. We are in the process of establishing the Center for Student Success and hopefully be able to finalize it before the end of this academic year in September. For now, we have introduced support programs already and among these um, are our success learning series, academic tutorials, and a new classes to shine or our success habits in a network environment. We hope to prioritize students' well-being um, and, and, and also help develop the skills for students for self-regulated learning. Finally, among the priorities of the university, which was advocated strongly by student affairs together with the university student governance, the adoption of university policy, of policy on safe spaces. The pandemic has put so much people at risk, not just from their values, but from other forms of violence. It is very important for student affairs to be at the forefront of this advocacy and engage the community in conversations that will create that safe, safe spaces for all. These major initiatives we hope to continue. Our priority agenda remains to be focused on student welfare inclusion and safe spaces and student success. The pandemic has challenged, us mentally, has challenged us mentally, physically, and psychologically, but you cannot be distracted from what truly matters, especially for our students. The lessons we have learned from this experience hopefully will enrich the profession and allow us to look into our work, not just as an add-on, but an important component of quality education. That despite pandemic, the area of student affairs should be a priority as well. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you have learned from this brief session. This is Nelka Leila Vinalin from Dallas University, Philippines.